Hi, uh, this video is about the beryllium barrier. In this picture, you can see the nucleosynthesis of the lightest elements. At the top left, that's the nucleosynthesis of uh, helium-4, hydrogen. At the top right, uh, that's another this reaction, CNO cycle, which also produces helium-4 from hydrogen. After the Big Bang, the elements hydrogen, helium and lithium were formed. In the bottom, you can see the triple alpha process uh, that makes uh, beryllium and then um, carbon-12. However, there is a problem, and this problem is uh, the beryllium barrier. That's the fact that um, isotope beryllium-8 has a half-life of 8 times 10 to the minus 17 seconds. So, after the Big Bang, bang there was a time period of just 20 minutes to make uh, for the nucleosynthesis of the elements. The beryllium barrier prevented the nucleosynthesis of all the heavier elements than lithium. That's why after the Big Bang there were just uh, hydrogen, helium and lithium um, and no more other elements. Um, but in a dying star, uh, the conditions are different. Uh, for a, star, a dying star it takes um, several million years. And now the beryllium barrier can be overcome. Uh, beryllium-8 can react with uh, helium-4. Then you get carbon-12 in a hoyle state. That's another bottleneck. Because uh, most of the hoyle state carbon-12 uh, decay back to helium-4. Only one in 2421. Uh, isotopes uh, goes to an internal conversion and then you get uh, carbon-12 in ground state. Then you can um, continue the nucleosynthesis. You can make oxygen, uh, neon, magnesium, sulfur. Etc. Uh, for this, you need a core temperature of 100 uh, million Kelvin. For comparison, uh, the sun's core temperature today is uh, 15 million Kelvin. So, again, in a dying star, you have um, enough time to try again and again. That's why these uh, two bottlenecks are, can be overcome and you get all the other uh, chemical elements and uh, including those uh, that are important for life. That is uh, how the beryllium barrier works. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.